Hi. 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 It's Wednesday, which means it's the perfect day to visit the Lighthouse Christian Academy. Hi. Hi, Bruce. I'm Kathy Guerra. It's oh. great to have you. Kathy, it's great to be here. I wanted to come check out the school. Today's the day. Are you ready for your tour? Let's do it. All right, let's go. That was easy. So Lighthouse Christian Academy was founded in 2001 by a group of parents who were looking for a little something different for their families. And uh, we moved over to this location in 2012. We've been here ever since. Good afternoon, first grade. Good afternoon. Our number has two digits, this is where we start. First we need to add the ones, add the ones, add the ones. First we need to add the ones, then move to the tens. Is this your handwriting? Yeah. Your handwriting's better than mine. Just because we are a ministry of Safe Harbor Presbyterian Church doesn't mean that we are a Presbyterian school. We actually have many families making up many different denominations. We have families who are super involved in their churches, all the way down to families who are still looking for a church. And so we call ourselves interdenominational. So now we're in the gym, yeah. and the gym is where we have gym class, obviously. I don't want to give anything away there. <laughs> um, but that's where we have gym, especially when it's raining. And every day our students gather here for lunch. So our kindergarten all the way through our eighth graders have lunch here. Have some middle school sports. We have girls basketball and girls volleyball. And when we have enough interest, we also have a boys uh, basketball team as well. And we play other schools, middle schools. And they have recess. Everybody has a recess K through eight after that. Exciting. Because we all need to play. Yeah, we teachers do too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we should be playing basketball right now. I mean, if it we wasn't... should have played basketball during the interview. That would have been great. I'm not, I don't have a good jump shot. <laughs> this past weekend, we had our annual science fair and all of the students were involved from kindergarten all the way up through eighth grade. So we're going to expose the water molecules to an opposite charge. Great, we're expose the and we're gonna see what happens. To the negative charge of, of uh, that's gonna be picked up from Julia's hair when she combs her hair. Is that what's happening? Wait, yeah. Yes. Oh my exactly, that's exactly what I said. Thank you for uh, making it clear for the camera. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, right. I'm glad she jumped in for you. Yeah, yeah. I need a little bit of help there. <laughs> Whoa. Do you see the string bending? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have two classes that, uh, that are down here, as well as the church's offices and right. our sanctuary. So this is the sanctuary at Safe Harbor Presbyterian Church, where we get to begin every morning of our day. Our students uh, come and corporately, all of us worship. We have a time for our pledges. Uh, the students have recitations in the morning, and that isn't every single week, but students will have worked on something in particular, like poems or songs or some sort of essay they may have written that they want to present. So our students get a lot of standing up in front of and talking about what they know experience, which will translate for the rest of their lives right, into- so They can come take my job from me. Right, watch well, out. Yeah, we I think you're on notice. And I already know your students are advanced, because I'm already lost. Yes, well, it is. It's good you have a guide. Yeah, exactly. Right. So one of the exciting additions we're going to have for the 2018-2019 school year is a pre-K class, a four-year-old pre-K class. Awesome. We're super excited about that as a way to support our ongoing program through the school. Yeah. Uh, and the pre-K class will actually be moving into what is currently our kindergarten classroom. Okay. So we're going to take a peek in on our kindergartners and see what sorts of things they're up to. Awesome. I had a little turtle. What are you guys building over there? Um, a TV uh, station. No. No? No. <laughs> Classical education is rooted in history. It began back when Aristotle and Plato were all learning from one another. It's the way our forefathers learned. It's the way uh, Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. So it, it's based on the idea that there are three roads. Mm -hmm. There's the grammar, the logic, and the rhetoric stage. The grammar stage is pre-K through fifth grade. The logic stage is sixth through eight. 
and the rhetoric stages 9 through 12. And the idea is that classical education teaches students with the grain. So they are doing the things that they are naturally good at doing mm -hmm. at those particular ages. And so we teach, for instance, you have a child maybe in the third grade. Mm -hmm. We have um, our third graders start Latin. In uh, they start in third grade, they s begin taking Latin classes. K through five, pre K through five, they learn the grammar of everything, and they learn history in a sequence. Against European control. Second came the travel on the Erie Canal, across the state of New York. Third Jacksonian democracy, he knew how to make it work. Number four, the cotton gin, this established the South. In the Industrial Revolution, Eli Whitney brought it about. Once they naturally transition into a more argumentative stage, not to say that teenagers can ever be argumentative, but just perchance, <laughs> they might be. We actually have the logic stage and they take informal logic classes so that when they do argue with their parents, they argue well. And they may not have a wonderful reason, but they are able to argue it to the point where you may consider their reasons for right. why they want to do A, B, or C. This is why I come from where I come from in my thought. Exactly. And then the, the final stage is the rhetoric stage, and that's where they really learn to be um, to articulate their own thoughts. So we have uh, this progression that works with who they are, which mm. the way God intended them to learn. And so it really works nicely. And the part of it that is so great is that they are learning the way that they're meant to learn so that they don't really see how hard they're working. So we're ending our day in what would easily be my favorite classroom, because it's literature, and this is your classroom. It is, it is. I have the joy of teaching literature and writing and poetry and grammar and vocabulary to the sixth, seventh, and eighth graders during the week, except for Wednesdays when I get to give the tours of the school. So right. which is you why to, you don't have a classroom today. Right, exactly, because yes. I'm here with you. Yeah, and Billy. And Billy, and right. Billy. He's always holding down the fort when I'm not here. That's right. We got to take an amazing tour. The building was wonderful. The students were so sweet. They're, everything going on is amazing. But you guys have a lot more besides just the school that's going on. You actually have events and stuff, right? We do. We have several events coming up. Our annual auction, which is our largest fundraiser, and that's open to the community, is happening at Prospect Bay Country Club on April mm -hmm. the 14th. We have a little nautical theme going, so some fun things happening that night. We have our, our logic level students, which is the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, are putting on a 30-minute uh, Shakespeare production of Much Ado About Nothing at the beginning of May. Finally, we have our annual history fair, which we've talked about how Lighthouse really focuses on the linear movement mm -hmm. of history and how we circulate all around that. And so our history fair is our culminating event each year where our students showcase what they've been learning in history all year. And it's a really wonderful day. We invite the community to join us for that. Not only do we have a production that the students put on by grade, Afterward, we have food that is just by their time period. Well, thank you so much for the tour. Absolutely. And, and if you're interested, have your own tour. Come in and have a great experience walking around meeting all the teachers and the students. It was amazing. Thank you so much. Good. It was wonderful to have yeah. you. And we'll leave you with Billy to teach some literature. Right. We have got to get back to the Merchant of Venice. That's right.